Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Jennifer and I'm here with Jack and Mary Grace. Now, if you've been watching our videos every week, you know that Mary Grace never laughs at my jokes. So today I have help. Jack is gonna tell Mary Grace a joke and we're gonna see if she laughs. Are you ready? All right, you're up, Jack. Three tomatoes went on a walk. A daddy tomato, a mommy tomato, and a baby tomato. What did the daddy tomato say to the baby tomato? I don't know. You better catch up. All right, Jack, didn't work. Try again. What do you call an angry pea? I don't know. Grumpy. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to week number nine. We've got to week nine already. Anyway, I hope you can take a hint at what our theme for the week is. So, who can remember what our um, heart print of the month is? I can. Yes. I can. Yes. It's our creator God is awesome that's right he is so awesome and don't forget boys and girls you can look on the d6 app and there's a cute little cuddle time book on there and it says oops god is very good at making all kinds of stuff but you can just go through and look at the little book that's on there just don't forget go to the d6 app miss sherry that is unbelievable oh, you grow girl uh -huh. <laughs> Well, let's talk about some of these things. Um, for most importantly, what are things that plants, like fruits and vegetables, need to grow? Hmm. Can anyone guess out there? What is something that plants and vegetables need to grow? Oh, I think the most obvious one, Miss Sherry, would probably be the dirt, right? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I mean, we, we don't just put plants anywhere, do we? That's right. We don't put them in our And what does the dirt provide for the plants? Does it provide, like, nutrients, like food? Yes, that's right. The soil, the dirt in the ground is what the plants use to help feed it and help it grow, just like our bodies need food to grow. Dirt, how much fun is that? Don't eat dirt. Um, is what the plants use to grow. Awesome. Ooh, oh, another thing, guys, is when we have plants, do we usually put them in a dark cave? Do we hide them in our bedroom under our pillow? No, we usually put them out on a sunny area. We put them on the windows. We put them outside so they can get lots of sunlight. Yes, the sun. That's right. Plants definitely need sun to grow. Some of them need a little less sun than others, but the sun does help them grow. What's Miss Sherry drinking? Just like me and you need to drink water, plants also need to drink lots of water, but we they get their water from all around, okay? So they get it in the air, and usually what we do is we, we water our plants. Mm -hmm. And God is such a provider, even for all the plants out there, that God provides the sun, God provides the water, he provides the soil, just like he provides everything that we need too. God provides everything that fruits and vegetables need to thrive and grow. Now, look at some of these different fruits. Do you guys like any of these up here? What's your favorite fruit? Shout it out. Mine's mm -hmm. strawberries. Yeah, mine would be strawberries or blueberries, so it's it's not up here, but I do like grapes. Those are Ooh, close. I love oranges, so, and the raisins, wee. And have you guys ever had any pears? I have. Mm. Next time your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or somebody um, gives you some fruit and you have a fruit inside your house when they cut it up, Ask them if you can see the seeds. Hmm, when we cut up a fruit, we can see seeds inside of it, just like an apple. Mm -hmm. And what do those seeds do, Miss Elena? Well, you can plant them in the ground and they'll grow a new plant. Yes, very exciting. So if you wanted to, 
you can try to always ask permission from your parents first. Mm -hmm. Take the seeds from your fruit and go try to plant it outside somewhere. Remember though, it can be a little difficult because certain plants need only a certain amount of water, not too much. Again, certain sunlight, not too much, and the right soil conditions. But you can maybe try to grow some of your own fruits and vegetables. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, let's go sing. Okay, boys and girls, everybody stand up and join us for this little light of mine. You know this song. God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light. Again. 
beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good. And he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And there was evening and there was morning the first day. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Well, guess what? We have a special surprise for you today. We are going to go on a field trip. Field trip. Yes. I'm bringing my bottle of water, putting it in my backpack so I can go and be ready. We're going to be outside. Yes, we are. So if you have a hat, bring a hat, bring your water. Okay. Maybe some sunscreen. Mm-hmm. cluster of blueberries I found right here and if you look over the whole farm you could see all these different blueberry plants that the farmers planted from seeds so we're gonna show you some seeds too I can't wait to eat all these blueberries when we get home to plant your own garden. So we have some spinach, there's some flower seeds, lettuce seeds. Let's just see real quick how tiny these seeds are. So these are very tiny little seeds, can be hard to see. Now who remembers, what do we need in order for our plants to grow? We need good soil, we need sun, we need some water, right? And then make sure there's air around. So if you're planting them outside, you should be good to go in God's great creation. And as we got to see today, our lovely creation and yummy, yummy blueberries. What, what are we doing here? We've got a bunch of fruit on our table. We do. We are gonna make a super yummy fruit smoothie today. What? Yum, yum for yes. my tum tum. Yes. Um, First, I cut up an apple here so that I can show you the seeds. They're so tiny, you can see. And that's exactly what you can plant um, and what farmers do. They plant these little seeds and watch them grow just like the plants we saw at the farm yesterday. So it just takes a tiny little seed, isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. So let's see, I think, um, let's throw in some strawberries, but you can make one of these at home too. We'll need to take off the little green tops, pop those in. Let's see. Ooh, these look so good. All right, what else? Some apples. 
I'm just throwing some apples. And I see you have some blueberries over there that we got yesterday. You wanna throw those in? Mmm, this already smells good. Should we use all the apples? We'll see. All right, and then we'll also um, pour in a little juice or sometimes um, you can, there we go. Grape juice. Yes. Um, sometimes you can make it with almond milk or regular milk if you wanna make it kind of like an ice cream type smoothie. Um, so we'll blend that up first. Remember, always ask your parents before you try to do this yourself at home. Yes, definitely. But this is a healthy snack, so ask for your parents to help you make it. for this because this can be loud when the ice starts crunching up. Ready? Just a bit more ice, guys. Looking delicious, Miss Elena. It really is. Super yummy. It sure does. Wow. And now we have a fruit smoothie. This looks great, Miss Elena. I can't wait to try it. Looks nice and yummy, nice and healthy. Mm -hmm. And just think, God gave us all these delicious fruits and vegetables and from plants to help us grow our bodies too and be healthy. All right, cheers. Mm, thank you. Mm. That's really good. That is delicious, especially on a hot day like today. Mm. That was a lot of fun today, guys. Yes, I did. That was, I had so much fun. That we was great, learned thank you. A lot, definitely. Mm -hmm. We learned how, what plants need, like sunlight and water, and then we actually got to go Picking blueberries. Yes, we got so many blueberries. Yes, we did. I can't wait to eat them all. Mm -hmm. They're so yummy. Yes. All right, so we'll see you next week. But before we go, we do have a hint for next week's video. All right, so put your listening ears on. <laughs> Could you tell what it was? Maybe they're on our table. I think you guys are going to be super excited. So make sure to watch next week's video too. Definitely. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.